Hi guys, it's uh, Monster Cameron here again, and um, I'm just having a walk about today. Um, it's a little bit earlier in the day. It's about it's about five. Um, God, my face is a little bit oily. I'm a little bit sweaty, um, but that's besides the point. Uh, today I just want to, you know, I just want to put my uh, thoughts out there about uh, Nokia. And I know a lot of Americans, um, they don't really know about Nokia because this is not such a uh, not such a big brand name in the states. But everywhere else in the world, Nokia is one of the biggest brand names because they were one of the first companies to do smartphones and do it right. Um, I remember, you know, growing up. Although I'm not that old, but growing up and seeing, you know, all these N-series Nokia phones. They were the bomb when you had like, you know, uh, you had like uh, Samsung and Motorola, the Razer, which was, which was awesome. But you had like, you know, those kind of feature phones. And then you saw Nokia's Symbian handsets and you said, that was awesome. Let me just do a little crossy cross here. But yeah, Nokia, they just did it right. And for many years too but now but now it just surprises me man what money can do it can it can corrupt anything they brought in this uh, well, uh they say he's canadian but i don't know uh stephen elop who used to work for microsoft um they brought him in to be their ceo and then he turns around and he uh pimps microsoft products um to nokia so their own in-house Symbian OS, which is fairly stable, fairly solid, very good performance, even on like single core. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, there's uh, Migo, uh, Migo Movlin, whatever you want to call it, whatever it was, which was a pretty good phone. There's um, a phone OS, there's Memo as well. And they just decided to ax them, uh, you know, to, to, to lessen their roles. Uh, as, a, as a part of Nokia's future and I think it was just dumb so they, they went from a self-reliant company that did their own software to their own hardware to one that depends on another company to, to provide them uh, support and although they're getting a lot of money in the deal it just just feels wrong man Nokia they're like an independent company in a sense I don't know how the business side of it works, but they were their own company there. They had their own software, their own ecosystem, their own hardware. Now they're just another Windows phone dealer. And then there are the people who are like, oh, Windows phone is awesome. It's more stable than, than Android and all that shit. Windows phone is a piece of shit. Yes, it looks good. Yes, it runs fine. But so what? The name behind it is crap. Who the fuck wants Windows on their phone, man? Have you forgotten a Windows Mobile? I don't know, man. People just forget so easily. They forget things so easily. And I'm not taking myself out of the equation. I, I tend to forget things, too. I try to look towards the future, you know. But, I don't know. It just pisses me off. Um, what else? Uh, let's talk a little bit more about Migo too. Um, yeah, I had an N900 if you saw my video there. Awesome phone, had Memo OS. One of my favorite um, handheld devices ever. A couple of things, it's an older device. It has a 600 megahertz um, a TIO map, so it's a bit dated, in, especially in performance. Although um, a lot of the programs are, you know, are very well optimized. Um, but yeah, then the advent of Migo, I, I've still yet to get that Migo phone, the N9 or the N950, uh, partly because they're so expensive. So that's a, that's a bummer. To get a, was it an N9? You have to it's a it's a like 400 bucks for what was it 16 or 32 gig model. So it's not very affordable. 
I'm not saying that other phones are, are more affordable or should be uh, cheaper because of what it is, but yeah, they're they're expensive for what it offers. And then there's the 808 PureView. That's it's all those Symbian. There's there's a reason I brought up these two phones because those are the best uh, devices, hardware that the Nokia has. Their N9 and their 808 because the Lumia 900, although it's the same, pretty much the same as the N9 in terms of physical hardware, except for the processor and the software is different. Um, you know, one being Mamo, uh, Migo, one being um, Winmo, um, yeah, and the one being a Snapdragon, one being o OMAP. <sighs> but yeah, the 808 PureView and the N9 are so much better than the, the rest of the, the hardware that they have. So I don't know why they decided to um, to cut it, or not cut it, but not necessarily advertise it as much as it the millions they spend on advertising those POS uh, Lumias. I just don't get it, man. Microsoft, waste of time. Uh, you know what? I shouldn't be hating on Microsoft, to be honest, because they've done a lot of cool shit. A uh, company with no experience in 2000, just although they had a lot of money, they pushed the Xbox into the market and it became a success, so and their Windows uh, software gained uh, a lot of success, you know, the most widely distributed um, desktop operating system for home users. So it's not like they're a bad company. They have done some cool shit in the past. Um, but sometimes, you know, you should know your limitations. And uh, I don't know, maybe if they just, maybe a name change. Maybe not Windows Mobile, maybe something else. But they did try that. What am I talking about? They did try that. They tried it with Kin. <sighs> two months and it was uh, uh, off. Um, two months and they took it off the line. They did try it with Kin. I don't think Microsoft truly understands the mobile space. But, you know, who am I to say that?